And as a last video in this clear out special, here's an old um, landline phone that I found in a box recently. Now, the reason I actually got this originally uh, was that it's a phone, uh, which means it has all these different keys. And this one has these keys so large that you could potentially uh, stick some sort of sticker on it or perhaps repaint it so that uh, it doesn't display these um, numbers as usual, but rather some less usual ones. For example, how about a phone that has all of its numbers in Roman numerals? Or perhaps these ones, uh, which if you know what they are, well, give yourself a fat on the back, I guess. However, to mark these um, keys in such a way, I think that it would be more easy to open them and repaint them outside of the device, uh, which is why I'm thinking of opening it up right now. And perhaps um, I could actually learn about how these things work, because I don't actually know. The back plate is held on by four screws, and lifting it up reveals um, this PCB. Uh, which is apparently for the keys, and uh, this one here, which is probably the dial tone one. And I think that that's the one I should be looking at. But just for convenience, I've also taken off this piece, uh, which has this sort of um, um, carbon pads here, which uh, connect to these here, but also interestingly, there's an LED over there, and the Neo. Why would they have a neon? Because, like, the capacitors around here are, oh no, they're rated 50 volts, this one. So, perhaps there is high voltage in there. In that case, I shouldn't be really messing around with this, should I? Alright, the battery low indicator is flashing on my camera, and I don't have a charger, so I'm going to have to click here. There's a piezo disc, which is apparently the sounder for the ringing. Uh, this click switch is what uh, controls the uh, headset going down. There are a lot of diodes over there, and I have no idea what they are for. There are two, two chips on here. One, the large one is presumably the dial tone generator. It is an ET91312N. And the smaller one is uh, perhaps some sort of oscillator. It's near the connections for the pizza, so maybe it's got to do with that. It's a KA2411. Uh, and the buttons over here do pretty much flip open like this, and so I could just uh, try to scrape away the uh, paint job on this and uh, paint something else on it. But other than that, circuitry seems to be quite straightforward for it. I mean, not straightforward, standard, because I have taken... Uh, a more simple phone to bits once, and it was quite um, similar to this in design, but yeah, I don't really have much time because of uh, the battery on my camcorder, so this is what is inside uh, one of these phones, just a chip that makes the uh, dial tones connecting to a filter to the output, uh, and connecting the a uh, microphone and a headset through these four cables to somewhere over here.